ShireSociety.com. An item has to be in the news for a couple of weeks, I guess, before my pokey but fertile mind can get a fix on it and say something no one else is saying. I can pretty much guarantee you no one else is saying what I'm about to say with regard to the Ukraine. Sorry, it's Ukraine, not the Ukraine. The Ukraine is sort of how the Stalinists referred to it. But anyway, I keep seeing all these messages on my Facebook feed from all these loser neoconservatives and conservatives. They whine about how Obama is weak. He's just letting Putin run all over him. Well... It may not be entirely safe for me to say this, but if you're saying Obama is weak, then my question for you would be, are you even more of a pushover than him? Do you, when he demands your money every April 15th, pay him off? Are you even more of a 90-pound weakling than he is? If he's a weak loser, and you're submitting to his will, where does that leave you? Another Ukraine-related issue that's not being discussed, although one I guess it's a little bit more conventional for me to discuss, I brought this up before about other places, but if it can be said that Ukrainians need some kind of defense against the Russians, Well, my question would be, to what extent does the faction now in power, to what extent has that faction allowed everybody to have all kinds of weapons in the Ukraine? I bet the answer is a pretty small extent. I I doubt they have any more gun freedom than the U.S. Probably they have a great deal less. But you would need a great deal more gun freedom than what the U.S. has if you wanted to be a small country in flat territory defending itself against a big country. I mean, until the pro-Westerners in Ukraine have at least given their people the right to own bazookas and tanks, there's no business even talking about defending them. They're obviously not letting their own people defend themselves. It gets a little complicated here because, of course, the the government that's sort of coming into power in Ukraine right now is sort of what you might think of as the old old opposition, uh, which I guess has intermittently been in power in the past. So since they haven't been the government, you know, for the last five years or however many years they haven't been the government, it's a little, you know, we, we can't hold as much against them about where, you know, their gun freedom stands. They have only had weeks, if anything, to change the situation. But I bet they're not even talking about it. I bet the American government is not even talking about it. It's all about what can we force the taxpayers to do to fix this problem. Oh, and another question for all these uh, chronic hawks who think that that Russia is still run by Stalin. What exactly have any of you done to help defend Ukraine against this government, which is a much smaller threat than the Soviet Union was. Surely you've considered going over there and fighting, or you've considered, or you've been sending your money to whatever faction you support. You Surely you're not expecting Obama to do all the work for you, or the taxpayers you plan on deputizing every time you name a new government initiative. Well, At least we're hopefully getting a reminder of one thing, and that is New Hampshire needs more gun freedom than it currently has so that what's happening to Ukraine now will never happen to New Hampshire, and we won't need governments to save us if it does. Sorry, I shouldn't have said gun freedom. I should have said bazooka freedom. The old world is collapsing, and it's going to take its slave driver governments with it. But what will rise up in their place? In New Hampshire... The Shire Society has a plan, a thriving web forum, and a history of action. He didn't take long to come up with a plan. You can sign up right now at ShireSociety.com.